A man accused of pointing a gun at another driver on I-64 is getting out of jail. Yeah, this is the video taken by the other driver where you can see 58-year-old Eugene Trujillo pointing a gun out of his red Camaro back in September. Trujillo appealed in, appeared in Newport News Court this morning where his attorneys came to an agreement with the Commonwealth's Attorney's Office. Caught on camera back in September, Eugene Trujillo pointing a gun at another driver while heading eastbound on I-64 in Newport News. Deshauna Banks, the woman who filmed the video that's been viewed thousands of times online, says she merged ahead of the 58-year-old. She says he then started brake checking her through traffic. I see he's not going to start playing in this traffic and I see he's not going to start following me, so I'm going to go ahead and pull out my camera. Virginia State Police said Trujillo was caught pointing a gun at someone else later that day in Virginia Beach. Trujillo faced a number of charges, including brandishing a firearm and assault. He was held with no bond and pleaded no contest. Friday morning, he appeared in Newport News Court, where his attorney said they reached an agreement with the Commonwealth's Attorney's Office. Under that agreement, Trujillo will have no contact with the victim, attend anger management classes, and cannot have a firearm while out on good behavior. The judge said Trujillo would be released Friday afternoon. In a past interview with 13 News Now, Sergeant Michelle Anaya with Virginia State Police said they are seeing a rise in road rage incidents. We are seeing a rise in a lot of aggressive behavior. While no one was hurt in this particular incident, road rage has been responsible for about 300 deaths since 2013, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Now, if you find yourself near a violent driver throwing things, using their vehicle as a weapon, or pulling a gun, AAA recommends not responding to that driver, avoiding eye contact, staying in your car, and calling 911. It's also important to allow enough room around your car to escape if you need to.